Well, now we're going to be talking about My Style Camp. We have a mother-daughter team right now, Stacy and Sydney, and there's actually one more person in their family that also helps out. Uh, so we welcome them. Hello, and how are you both? Mm -hmm. We're good. Yeah. We're so happy to be here today. Mm -hmm. So, Sydney, you are the assistant stylist, right? Yeah. So, and who else? is in your family that also works out on this? Um, my brother, Ethan. Your brother, Ethan. Okay, so we can give a nice big shout out to Ethan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. when he gets home and he sees this, he'll be like, how come I didn't get to be on TV? But you are representing him mm -hmm. uh, equally well. Yes. So Stacy, what made you decide to start this company? Well, this. Okay. Um, absolutely. Um, I was working in corporate America. Um, I was a fashion designer, kids fashion designer for Tommy Hilfiger, and I worked my way up in that industry after being in costume design. Um, and I, it was a second pivot in my career, and I felt like there was just something missing, and it was just being around my children. I was traveling to China when she was two years old, and I just said to myself, you know what, I, I can offer kids, I can give back, and I can do something with my talent uh, locally. And I started in my garage, and this was born. So you were a big inspiration to me. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. And so those big brands, when they realized that you started your own company, you know, mm -hmm. were they supportive? Were they happy for you? Absolutely. Um, I was offered to work part-time in the industry, but I said I wanted to kind of take a full leap. Um, I'm still in touch with my, my former boss, all my bosses, and uh, a lot of the designers, and they're super excited. And my, the head boss um, actually had his son work for me out in the Hamptons That's uh, when we did a camp out there. So yeah. super excited. Yeah. So My Style Camp, I love the name, lots of fun things Thanks. that go on there. And actually, you actually have people come and do yeah. parties and events. Mm -hmm. So Sydney, what's in your uh, bag? So. I actually have um, a t-shirt. Okay. Yeah. And, um... How did you make that? Yeah. So, I made it, like, so first, like, I just, like, it was, like, a plain t-shirt. And then I was, like, this is just a plain t-shirt. Maybe I could do something to it. So, like, I, so, like, I um, tie-dyed it. And, like, I made cuts in it. It looks good. Yeah. Thank you so much. And then, like, I put, like, MSC on it. That's nice. Yeah. Thank like you. It. What else is in that fun bag? Anything else in there? Uh -huh. Let's see. I love this show and tell. Oh. Stacy, this is great. Mm -hmm. I see it now why you brought Sydney. Yes. Right? Because Sydney's got it going yeah. on. Yes. Yeah. And these are all birthday parties. Okay. So the yeah. kids start with a template and they come in and then they make something that's very wearable. And we love graffiti and painting and splattering, and it's like my passion is painting, so we bring that into fashion. The wearable art. Wearable art. Wearable art. Um, so. so that's very nice. So mm -hmm. that says SK. Yeah. Are those so. your initials? So you know. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you always know which one's the right foot, which one's the left, so that your initials read the correct way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or else you'd be KS. That means mm -hmm. that you had it on the wrong foot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he starts <laughs> out with just um, some nice pink fuzzy slippers, mm -hmm. and then you can. Uh, Decorate them all. Yeah. Out. That so looks like, fun. Yeah, thank you. And like I tie dyed them and yeah, it was so much fun. This was actually your birthday party. Yeah, this was my birthday party and I had so much fun. I love that. And remember you said the designer slime you added to the party? And they they curated their own slime? Oh yeah, so we it's also made idea. like our own slime. Mm hmm And it was just so much fun and I I just had so much fun. I and love I loved that. It. Yeah. And Stacy, we have two mannequins here that are all uh, bedazzled out. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us about these two styles and what they sure. represent for you. So um, I love mentoring kids, and especially I've, I've gotten a lot of kids into FIT and fashion schools. And um, I did uh, an appearance on a show called um, Project Warehouse, which we had to use all upcycled, recycled. We ran through the warehouse. There was this wonderful... Um, high school guy, his name is Atreyu Dizan, and he had this anime vision, um, which my mood board that you'll see later is all about. And so um, one of the things that I was excited about when I, we got to be up in the, he was like a third place up, running up, um, and uh, I got to design a dress for myself to wear with him, and I designed a dress out of some 70s sheets. Ooh. And I found some bows, and it's just um, something that we share with the school yeah. and we share with the kids is that you don't need to have the most beautiful fabrics. You don't need to have, you know, you can go look around and if you have an inspiration or an idea, mm -hmm. we literally do this all the time. Yeah. 
And we nice. just make things out of other things, and it's really fun. Upcycling. And it, everybody wants your dress. Yeah. Yes, upcycling, one yeah. of a kind, O-O-A-K, right? Yes. yes. Everything you do is like a one of a kind because yeah. the person personalizes it. And this element right here, this piece. Yeah, so this piece is, I love sparkles, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to do these in small dresses. Um, I do a lot of custom design. I wore this to a party. I did a costume. I was a costume designer before I was a fashion designer. Um, and I did some costume designs for some clients and I ended up making a quick dress for myself. Love these fabrics and um, I, work, I also work with celebrity designers and one of them is like, we have to do something around this and it's so awesome. A collaboration. Collaboration. So, so I now you've that. also worked with some other collabs recently, right? Uh, Who, yes. What's one person that we'd like to give a shout out to today? Want to wave hi to somebody special? How about Richie? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> we worked with Richie. Um, this summer, we worked with Cynthia Raleigh mm -hmm. um, at her shop in Montauk. Yeah. Um, when I met her briefly there last summer, I said to her in my moment of meeting her, I was so excited. Um, I said, why don't we do something with your you know, scrap fabrics? And she was like, wow, that's an amazing idea. When can you do it? Can you come next weekend? And I said, sure. And she got me collection fabrics and we held an event there and we used all of her fabrics to make scrunchies and we taught women, children, men, whoever wanted to sit down with us at the sewing machine, within 15 minutes they were sewing a scrunchie and they wow. left like, I have this custom scrunchie and I made it myself and they were just excited. Now speaking yeah. of that, um, before we wrap up, yes. I have to see what this, this palm headband thing is yeah. going on. What is this? That so, looks like fun too. Yeah, so we, we do um, kid accessory classes, so we have a lot of children that do not sew yet. So we do accessory classes. This was a sample. Mm -hmm. Of course, theirs look a little different. This is a very perf <laughs> perfect sample. Okay. But um, we also do things like this. We Thank do God. jewelry, mm -hmm. designs. This is a little necklace. They learn, have fine motor skills. They use their hands to make pom-poms. Charms are huge. Yeah. We use everyday objects and we make lots of things that they're always wearing yeah. including sweatshirts. And also and you could do like maybe like little jewels to like look like earrings or like yeah. Yeah so mm -hmm. Sydney helps me come up with a lot of things so those are things that we do with the accessory classes and then in the sewing classes <clears throat> speaking of scrunchies we this is a scrunchie they made mm -hmm. um, we're using upcycled denim and what I like to do is to have them personalize. I love as you mentioned before. Yeah, fabric art. paint and wearable yeah. art and things like that. And on your website, you've worked with a lot of other celebrities too. Yes. So this is just an appetizer of what's to come. So somebody could go to your website, get all kinds of more fun information. And let mm -hmm. me see that. That yeah. looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm definitely a scrunchy girl myself. So, yeah. you know, children, adults, people can come and have birthday parties. They can celebrate life. And you will also help them learn how to sketch and turn it into a reality. Yes. Thank you, mm -hmm. Stacy. Thank, Thank you, Sydney. Mm -hmm. Way to go. Yeah. Okay, so my style camp. Mm -hmm. And birthday parties are on the horizon. I love that. Yes. Yeah. And so. you're supposed to be a frisbee. Mm -hmm. Ready to catch? One, two, three. Woo, come on over here. <laughs> okay. You got it. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hey, and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I'm Donna Drake. And there are some really cool celebrities that I happen to know on their website. Go check out who they've worked with. <laughs>